going on, everybody? This is Dave Sagat here, and I could be better, to be honest with you. I could be a lot better. First off, I am sick. I came down with missing AJ-itis. No, I'm just kidding, but I really am sick. I have, um, I have a lot of congestion in my face, as you can probably hear in my voice and my nose area and all that. And second of all, all of you know that AJ's gone, so, you know, that's there. And then third of all, I'd like to address something. Gogzy Graphics, you need to stop taking my videos. You have stolen two of my videos, one being my Seth Rollins stage and one being my Adrian Neville stage. With And I have had both of those videos taken down thanks to copyright claims by YouTube. But dude, you seriously need to stop. You have stolen not only mine, but Josh's work too. Josh Parry Designs. Who I am... I respect... The living crap out of that dude. He is one of the best animators on YouTube, and I think of myself as pretty good too. Not to be conceited and all that, but we put in hard work. Do you know how long that stuff takes us? We have to do so much stuff, and for you to just come on here and copy the videos, re-upload them, no credit whatsoever, and just put them as your work, that is not okay. Not at all. Because all that stuff that we go through... The hours long that we animate all that stuff, and I'm not even exaggerating here, that stuff takes a lot of time. And you have stolen my Adrian Neville and my Seth Rollins stage. Not only did you steal my Seth Rollins stage, you, show, you stole Josh's opening pyro for WrestleMania, WWE Evolution 17's Randy Orton stage, and my Seth Rollins stage. Now you want to go and steal my Adrian Neville stage too. That is not going to fly. If you do it again, I have had both copyright claims sent to your YouTube channel and taken down your videos. If you do it again, I promise you, my friend, you will get terminated. So that's that. And guys, I'm sorry. Thank you for listening to that. But if God's grass is since you're watching out there, go if you guys, you know, feel free to go on Gogzy's channel. It's G-O-G-Z-Y's um, apostrophes S graphics. He has stolen my work. You won't be able to see it now because the videos have been taken down. But I don't know. I just don't even know. Oh, and one thing I also didn't do is switch pictures and all that. <laughs> But yeah, you guys, I'm sorry if I sniff or if I sneeze or if I cough or whatever during this video or if I breathe through my mouth because it's hard to breathe, hard for me to breathe through my nose right now. But yeah, I know I sound bad and all that, but we're going to do NXT. I'm just I'm very, very upset right now. So just bear with me through this. Uh, NXT and SmackDown are going to be going on tonight. So here we go. Let's just get right into it. Who did what? Nikki Bell and Summer Rae, it's obviously negative. Um, attacking Summer, stern warning. <laughs> See, there you go. And, are you kidding me, Nikki? Are you kidding me? Nah. I, I just can't right now. I, I just can't. And I've made the decision that I am going to keep AJ around... Because, you know, I've accepted the fact that she's gone now. So I'm just going to go ahead and rebook the Fatal 4-Way for WrestleMania. Because, um, I don't know. I really shouldn't be recording at this time. Because I, I know it's not, you know, the best for you guys watching this and all that. But I really want to get it. But the, by the time this video is out, though, I'll probably be fine and dandy. Because, you know, I have pre-recordings going on. Recording is April 7th right now. So, uh, yeah. Um, we need to be in the Great Lakes, so that's fine. On the road, WrestleMania. I don't want to be in the same arena, so let's just check. Uh, 7 to 15. Any hotbeds in the area? Any hotbeds? Nope. Alright, I'll just go to the Rush Center in <laughs> Wisconsin. Alright, so we're doing NXT. Storylines are... Okay, so I'm going to start off with the hype video for Joe. Hyping his debut tonight. Samoa Joe. Okay. And then he's going to come out and squash some kind of uh, enhancement talent, I think. 
face. Angelo Dawkins will do the trick. Is Joe a mid card? Yeah, he is. All right, so he'll squash Dawkins and uh, shouldn't have booked that match. I'm gonna go ahead and create match. Yeah, create a match. Uh, I can't. You know what? Um, whatever. I'm gonna do a television match. Uh, it's because I only want this to go for a minute as a squash match. So Dawkins versus Joe. <laughs> All right, uh, Joe will get the domination victory. So there we go, and then I'll cut a promo on Sami Zayn. Uh, no, I want. Uh, I guess I'll do a taunt in place of that. Uh, Samoa Joe will taunt. I guess Sami Zayn. Uh, it doesn't really matter. Two minutes. So I guess we're going to have a tournament, maybe? Um, no, no, no. I'll do, yeah, kind of like a tournament tonight. We'll do Neville and Gargano, and then Zayn and Breeze in the quarterfinals? Would it be quarterfinals? Yeah, because then... The winners of those will go on in our main events, and then next week the winner will face Joe. So we need Breeze and Zane. Uh, okay. Breeze, Sammy, who's a mid carter. Uh, I did an auto push, and that canceled that out for him. In a 12 minute match, I'm going to have. Who's going to go. She you know what? I'm going to edit that to be... Uh, yeah. Gargano is going to take place of Breeze in this one. I'm going to have Gargano get the tainted win. Um, protecting Zane open script. With an inter interference by Joe. All right, so there we go. I'm just going to go ahead and get all the matches booked in. Uh, then a shorter match, Breeze versus Neville, who desperately needs some momentum. Hopefully a win here would be good. Seven minutes, open, all out, decisive. There we go. And then in our main event tonight, geez, I wish I could do ma more matches. Uh, we're going to have Johnny Gargano and Adrian Neville in a 12 minutes Neville win decisive open. Yeah, all right. I don't care, Gargano. I don't care. All right. So now we need, I don't think 13 minutes is going to be enough to get us to 60% uh, angles, but uh, whatever. So I'll just do a show opening. <laughs> no fireworks. Uh, okay. So I guess Angelo Dawkins is just going to come out and get squashed by, uh, there. So we'll have Renee Young and... Um, I'm sorry. Tom Phillips and Renee Young open the show. Angelo Dawkins. <laughs> I can actually see that happening in real life. Alright, so Dawkins will come out, do his little thing, then the lights will go out, and Joe's video will come up, he squashes uh, Dawkins, taunts Sammy post-match, and I'll do a psych-up, singles... There we go. I'll do Sammy psyching up Adrian. Five. We might go. We might go. Um, and then post-match attack. I'll have Joe beat down Neville. Uh, yep. Joe will do that. 
Oh, it actually does get us there. That's cool. Alright, so then I'll do one more backstage interview. Uh, JoJo will interview... Uh, Johnny. And we'll go from there. Let's get some guys on the pre-show. Uh, oh, we didn't do any women's. That's alright. They can get, they can be on the pre-show. It's all good. Or they could actually... If I tune something down... Yeah, I'll actually tune this down. To... Eight minutes. And then maybe get about a six-minute match. Charlotte... I mean, uh... Uh, Charlotte's a face, Charlotte's a heel, okay, um, Charlotte will beat Bailey, no, Candice LeRae will beat Bailey due to help from Sasha, Bailey will be distracted by Sasha as the finish, Alright, good, we, still, we can bump that up one if that doesn't give us a warning. There we go. Alright. Cool, cool. Alright, so that is that. Um, tag team is Vaudevillains and uh, Lucha Dragons. So I'll give Vaudevillains a tag team win over NS. Who I don't have set up. Aiden English... Not Austin Aries. Aiden English and Simon Gotch versus Enzo More and Colin Cassidy. Here we go. Uh, eight minutes on the pre-show. I'll have Gotch get the win. Decisive open work the crowd. Not slow build. That would do horribly. Okay. And then... It's hard because I can't filter by... Uh, Let's just get over here. Uh, Solomon Crow can beat... I still need to turn Balor. I've... Oh, wait, no, no, no. I'm getting all over the place here. Balor is on the main roster, Dave. Balor is on the main roster. All right. Um... Jeez, we have uh, so many heels. Um... I guess Cedric Alexander versus... Solomon Crow or Kenny Omega? Yeah, Kenny Omega. We'll do that. Kenny gets the win. Um, Cedric Alexander making his NXT debut here. Kenny decisive. All right, then I'll do. Um, Baron to squash, um, Jason Jordan, why not? <laughs> it's Hilvy Heels, gonna bomb, but, you know, Baron, Jason, I really should turn Baron to, but, uh, I really don't care. Um, that match didn't last that long. <laughs> Actually, good minutes. There's an enhancement talent that we can use, face. Heal, um, Cal Bishop. Oh, jeez. Baron's an opener. I'm gonna get a terrible rating for this. Oh, man. Alright, that's gonna go very first one. Alright, let's get this over with quick. Uh, I think it's a pretty good show. I'm liking this. So, let, uh, without further ado, guys, let's run the show. Ooh, I'm gonna hate this. Oh, I know that. Oh, man. Completely terrible. Absolutely terrible. <laughs> but Baron Corbin just squashes Cal Bishop. Who let's bring it up. 45D is not too bad, and about that saw in a reaction, but not since the crowd heat. Kenny Omega defeat the Cedric Alexander in 720 by pitfall with Io Shadow. And then we move on to 47D. About that solid in reaction, but not against the crowd heat. AJ Aiden English and Simon Gotch defeat Enzo Moore and Cal Cassidy. In 802 with Simon Gotch to Vinny Enzo Amore by, pin one, by pinfall with a gentleman's clutch. Alright, the show's up and straight up. We're in to load Dawkins' is present way his match, giving Tom Phillips and Renee Young a little time to hype the show. A graphic is sh shown hyping Samoa Joe's first match, as despite appearing on numerous shows, Samoa Joe has not fought in a competition match, competitive match until now. 
And so he goes out there and squashes Angelo Dawkins, which actually didn't do too bad. Uh, was it... Well, executed squash! Yay! Thank you, Dawkins. You actually did uh, pretty good. Good job. 53C minus and 73B minus. That's going to help us out. Smart Joe has an interview with the taunt Sammy Zane, Sammy's mom, you know, all that stuff. And then... Oh, what happened to my voice there? Awful match. The Void of Heat. Ken Ray defeated Bailey in 720 by pinfall with a heartbreaker after distraction from Sasha Banks. Moving on that feud. No improvements. Booking decisions. Oh, wait. They're both faces. I should have seen that coming. And then our first match of the night. Apparently Alex Riley and Corey Graves are good Kevin. Okay. Um, I'm going to do something afterwards uh, that I need to remember. In the match, that's some good action. Albert in the way he Johnny Gargano defeated Sami Zayn in 746 by submission with the Gargano escape after interference with Samoa Joe. Johnny Gargano moves on to the semifinals tonight, and then Sami Zayn is backstage sucking up Adrian Neville for his match with Tyler Breeze, which he hits a 53C minus and about that saw in reaction. Not as crowd he Adrian Neville defeated Tyler Breeze in 711 by pinfall with a 630 splash. I should change that to a red arrow. <laughs> Uh, Neville can't go all out, but he can go all out. <laughs> I never understood that. 36D minus, JoJo's backstage with Johnny Gargano talking about his upcoming match, which gets a 53C minus, and it's alright. Match that's good action, not much in the way he... Adrian Neville defeated Johnny Gargano in 1132 by pinfall the 630 splash. Cool, cool. And then to end the show, we have a... We have a 51D+. plus. Ooh, that's bad. Adrian Neville celebrating his victory in the ring with Samoa Joe runs and attacks, beating Adrian Neville down to the mat. Joe came across as well. Cool. That is the show that gets us a 58C-, minus, about the same as last week, which is pretty good. I need to do one thing, uh, but I can't. So, I will see you all when we have booked SmackDown. Alright, everyone, we're back here with WWE SmackDown. I think this is pretty good. Uh, it didn't take too long to book, so I'm uh, just go ahead and run it. No pre-shows tonight as we just get straight into the show. As uh, JBL and uh, Michael Cole hype tonight's main event uh, between Ryback and Southern. That's not gonna happen. <laughs> I um I messed that one up, but that's pretty good. It's actually really good. Upon arriving at the arena, Ryback and Dolph Ziggler are met by Ric Flair, a member of the Authority. Uh, backed up by a group of security guards, Ric Flair informs the pair that Triple H has banned them from tonight's show and asked them to leave without causing the scene. Right back and all of Ziggler appear to accept the situation. So, Triple H eliminated some people, you know, tonight. And about that, just good action average heat. Austin Aries defeated Big Show in uh, 709 by submission with the last chancery. I have no idea how Austin Aries would get Big Show in the last chancery. But whatever, that's funny. Uh, it got a low rating because I uh, didn't want me a lower mid carter over uh, uh, upper mid like Big Show. And Stephanie McMahon is backstage with Seth Rollins, and she says that she has decided to give Seth Rollins a nice, easy tune-up match against John Cena. And Seth's kind of like, what? How, how is that a tune-up match? So that's our main event for tonight. <laughs> By the way, we're in front of 10,200 people, or 10,200 people tonight, in the Rush Center in Wisconsin. 86B plus, pretty good. That's actually disappointing. Paul Heyman is being interviewed by Renee Young. He hypes a uh, singles match between Brock Lesnar and Daniel Bryan. That's going to bring our ratings down. And the same rating, an extremely short match. Sheamus defeated Titus O'Neil in 5-0-3 by pinfall with a brogue kick. And then we have Sheamus comes down to the ring and issues a challenge to Bray Wyatt to compete in a steel cage match. No outside interference, just me and you inside a steel cage. Bray Wyatt accepts. Got to go ahead and book that in for Raw. That'll be a steel cage modern match. Alright. That's pretty good. I'm liking that. Uh, Bray Wyatt and Sheamus. Cool. And then we move on to a 48 D plus and about that Sonny reaction, not much in the way Heat Brubello defeated Emma in 551 by pit out with uh by pit out with the set out what by pit out with the sin fall face buster. That's it. And AJ attacks Nikki. And then Roman Reigns and Bad News Barrett are in the ring squaring off and happy about something. The argument soon starts physical. They are joined by Jack Swagger, Luke Harper, Dean Ambrose, and R-Truth. And then we move on to a 75B-. minus. That's pretty good, actually. About that feature, great action. A good crowd. Roman Reigns defeated Luke Harper in 734 by pinfall with a spear. They have great chemistry. Good to see. 
at 52D+, plus, an extremely short match from Balor and Hideo Itami, the Trilogy 2, defeated the Lucha Dragons in 530 when Finn Balor defeated Kalisto by pinfall with the Bloody Sunday. All that good uh, chemistry stuff. 91A, that's going to help. Um, I need to use that a lot more for the Trilogy. Uh, Chris Jericho, Tony, Kevin Owens, they are now going to be booked in for WrestleMania in a singles match. Cena makes an entrance, and then we move on to 88B+, which is nice. In, my, in match that excellent ring action, a great heat from the audience. John Cena defeated Seth Rollins in 1814 by pinfall with an attitude adjustment. During the match, we also had Rusev accidentally hit Seth Rollins, going for Cena. Rusev Crutch versus the Chip storyline. 88B+, is a great main event. Then we move on to a 78B. Uh, Seth Big Show, Kane, and Batista are all in the ring. That attacked by Randy Orton, Dolph Ziggler, Austin Aries, and Ryback, who all made it into the arena. Yay! So that is the show, and we have a 84B plus for SmackDown. Chris our popularity in 38 regions. And guys, even though I'm sick, I can still be able to say that I will see you all at the main title screen. Back here at the main title screen. Yes, we are. Yes, we are. Jeff is going to... Okay, he's only PPA. We can get it whenever we want. Alright, so, uh, NXT's hiring a bunch of people that I don't want. Um, cool. Oh, wait, cheerleading Melissa wants something. Shimmer. Alright, first things first. Alex Riley. Screw off. Okay, there we go. You want to take a shot at my girl on Twitter? You're gone. You're gone, son! I'm sorry, that probably was really loud. <laughs> Alright. Renee, she, what the, no, Tom Phillips, you're an announcer, how are you a personality, announcer, Renee Young, color commentator, Corey Graves, color commentator, okay, good, about to say, so, um, alright, so we got some Morales, she's Gabriel, I'm, I'm just so sorry, dude. I'm going to have to release you, because you got released in real life. I am so sorry. I hate doing this to you. But it has to be done. I'm sorry, dude. You are my favorite wrestler that was in WWE at the time. Alright, so. Nobody else that I care about too much. So, storyline roundup. I was actually surprised that didn't go down. It's because it got, like, tremendous ratings, and then that one rating. Didn't bring it down too much, which is good. ADB, that's fine. 85B+, plus is good. He returns 68C+, plus, it's average. 78B is fine for Seth. Trilogy is good, considering who's in it. IC title's fine. Just play where it's fine. Tag Team title's fine. Divas title's fine. All right. So, I think that's up. All these NXT guys are up. So, okay. Let's take a look at Creative Meeting. Uh, it's hot. That's that's actually pretty good. Uh, that's all you know, generic stuff. We all know that. All right. Um, I'll go ahead and change Adrian Neville to just Neville. Should have done that a while ago, but I don't know why I did not. <laughs> eh. You get a sneak peek peek of me previewing and saving videos and all that. <laughs> all right. So I think that is just about it. Big Show's fatigued. I'll give him a week off. Biggie's really still an upper mid card? I don't believe that. Yeah, I know. He's not an upper mid card. And I know Big E is not big heavyweight. Oh my goodness, no. He is not big heavyweight. Alright, um, I'm gonna give Big Show a week off. Enjoy, buddy. You deserve it. You've done pretty good. I will admit, you've done good. But guys, that's going to do for this episode. I hope you guys are guys. That's going to do for this episode. I hope you all enjoyed. If you did, be sure to smack that like button and comment down below and subscribe if you want to see more content like this. I hope you all enjoyed. Like I said, um, hope you all had a great Easter. I know it's going to be late uh, when this video goes out, but it's only a few days removed from Easter uh, when I'm recording this on April the seventh. Um. Smack that like button for my uh, sickness, hoping that I get better and all that. So, um, yeah, guys, thank you so much for watching. And that being said, keep subscribed up there and comment down below. And I will see you.